My name is Ethan. I'm an attorney in New York City and I am a Sea Shepherd volunteer here in Taiji, Japan as a Cove Guardian. Yeah, well, it would be nice if it wasn't so messy at the moment. In 2003, Sea Shepherd uh, activists came here, they documented the slaughter, and they published very graphic, very bloody photos of dolphins being killed. Um, and since then, I've followed the situation here. Last year, Sea Shepherd had Cove Guardians coming here, and, and I'd hoped to come. I was unfortunately unable to. So this year, um, when there was a call for Co Cove Guardians, when Sea Shepherd asked people to come here, um, I made sure that I was able to do so. The mornings here in Taiji start fairly early. We get up at about 5 a.m. so we can leave the, our hotel by 6 a.m. Morning, Ethan. Good morning, Scott. As you can see, it's still dark out. Until the sun starts to come up, the dolphin hunters won't even know if they're going out. So our first stop after the hotel is uh, Taiji Town Harbor, which is where the banger boats are, are locked up. They're locked up on the other side of these two ships. Um, these two ships are actually coastal whaling ships, these bl this blue and gray one. We hope that they're not going to head out, but uh, when they do hang, uh, head out, we uh, watch them trying to drive dolphins in. We spend part of our morning doing that. Yeah, it looks like the guys are scurrying. So I'm going to, um, yeah, see if you can count, and I'll count, and then we'll compare numbers. And uh, the rest of the morning monitoring the hunt, if one occurs. Since it's uh, early January, uh, it's pretty cold. So we've got a layer up. Um, and we, of course, always want to wear our Sea Shepherd gear to let the townspeople know, to let the, and especially let the dolphin hunters know that uh, we're here. We're going to be here until the killing stops. And um, also, you know, it, it looks good to show our numbers by, by wearing essentially um, the Sea Shepherd uniform. So every morning, um, we don't hope for sun, we hope for rain. We hope for uh, cloudy weather, we hope for choppy uh, waters, because these are all things that are good for dolphins as opposed to the dolphin hunters. It is a small video camera, um, which I'm able to uh, put on with this harness onto my chest, um, and then if a fisherman uh, approaches me or if we're um, videotaping or taking photos near Dolphin Resort or Dolphin Base to the, the uh, captivity programs, we're then able to um, quickly videotape uh, if one of their employees approaches us and try, tries to assault us. It's really a matter of security for us. The, obviously the dolphin hunters don't care much for us and we're not exactly big fans of them. As a Cove Guardian with Sea Shepherd Conservation Society, um, we're here to document the atrocities that happened at the Dolphins of Taiji. Um, we are here to uh, take video footage and to spread that information to the world. Yes, we do get up at 6 a.m. and yes, we do spend hour, possibly hours watching to see if the banger boats find a pod of dolphins and if they are successful driving that pod of dolphins in uh, to the cove. That's where our primary photography and videography occurs. Uh, after the slaughter has finished, we quickly go back and check the footage to see how many animals have been killed um, because we want to have the most accurate numbers. We don't believe the numbers which are being reported by the Fishermen's Union or the FU as we like to call it. Um, we don't believe that they're, they're accurately reflecting what is going on to the dolphin population and, and that's really just based on the various lies that we've been told over the years about uh, our ocean populations, about um, land animals as well. Animals are going extinct, their populations are in rapid decline, and it's because we're, we're exploiting them. Um, the dolphin killers and, and like to say that they're hunting dolphins because the dolphins are eating the fish that they would otherwise catch. The truth of the matter is the fish stocks are declining because of overfishing. Uh, the, industrialized manner in which fish are dragged out of the ocean and into our supermarkets, that's the reason that uh, the fish stocks are declining, not because the dolphins are eating some fish. 
If you're interested in ocean conservation and you want to get involved in the work of Sea Shepherd, this is a great first campaign for you to start out. Uh, go to the website at www.seashepherd.org, fill out an application, and we'll see you in Taiji.